Dream child of Chicago Tribune columnist Mike Royko. Every year, hundreds of barbecuers gather to see whose ribs are the best. How much more long I love. A sure sign of autumn. Smoke filling the sky, and not from burning leaves, but from hundreds of barbecue kettles, on which were spread in great disarray thousands of pork ribs. You cook everything indirectly, and that means you have the charcoal on the side, and you have the ribs in the middle, and so the heat rises and hits the top, and it comes back into the ribs, and this way you don't dry them out. Drying out seemed a good idea after early morning rain left the Grand Park Rib Fest site a gooey mess. But few of the 600 contestants slid away, and the show, and what a show it was, went on. There were poses for group pictures like you've seldom seen. And there were all sorts of claims to rib fame. And somewhere in the smoke, Mike Royko, columnist and rib cook extraordinaire, who gets what out of all this? Um, I get burnt. Burnt? Burnt. I get burnt, burnt often. Uh, and mainly I get to, to see a lot of nice people. Rib Fest, as you probably know by now, is a place where the contestants take pork ribs, only pork ribs, and do with them as their secret recipes direct. But this year, for the first time, there are vegetarian ribs. They're tasty and delicious and fun to eat, so we thought we'd come down and give it a try. Mr. Royko was gracious enough to let us in, and here we are. Yeah, we let him in to, uh, to be nice. Now they're handing out leafless condemning me, you know? <laughs> so much for food. cruelty to pigs. All this, of course, is to draw the judges' attention. Watch closely. That sauce is the best sauce around, man. I'm telling you, when the, when the judges look at that, they're going to love it. All in good fun.